What is up YouTube? Hope y'all are having a great freaking week. Welcome back to another Bryce is Right. I'm trying to throw out a few extra videos for y'all this week, so I hope y'all are enjoying them. Like I said, y'all are going to be in store for another wild one. Y'all are going to be rethinking y'all's reality. Be really questioning it today. And uh, of course, in the next couple I'm going to put out before Sunday. Yeah, you heard that right. Be ready for them and be on the lookout. So if you could go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already so you do not miss out on any of that future content. And uh, y'all know what time it is. Let's go and hop right in, y'all. Let's get it. Hey guys, once again, I'm going to show you guys something. So you see this reflection? The mirror thing doesn't just work on pure glass. You can also find a shiny enough reflection. Just sort of... What is he doing? Oh! I've seen another one of his videos where he goes into like a puddle or something. I don't know how he does this, but this is pretty magical. <laughs> That's dope. It's like he's in a whole nother world. previous video he actually goes and walks around anyways that's pretty freaking legit or you won't believe this video this object was filmed in Porterville on December 17th 2023 notice that the black sphere makes deliberate movements of descending and stopping the object progressively descended from the clouds and seemed to be scanning the ground below. Note that this object moves back and forth, exhibiting intelligent behavior. Note that the... Nothing seriously defined the laws of physics and gravity and motion. I mean, for it to stop like that and just revert the other way, that's unheard of. ...sphere does not rotate. On one side, there is a yellowish tinge that stays still as the object flies over the area. A balloon would normally rotate around its own axis and would not constantly accelerate and stop so quickly. The cameraman said that the object made no sound and that there was little wind on the day of the recording. I have no idea what this object was. Probably some kind of drone, but it didn't look big enough to be manned. Was it a military drone? Or it could be graphic editing but the movement of the object looks quite natural and has very high definition. So if it is a fake, someone has invested heavily in graphic editing. The cameraman claims that this is the original recording. He had just bought his drone and was doing a test flight when the object appeared in the sky. What do you think this object was? Watch it and draw your own conclusions. That's so crazy. I mean, there's no repulsion system. No tell in, showing where the energy is being pushed to and away from. And it looks like it's got like a 30 on it, like it's a freaking weight, weighted ball or something, right? It'd be funny if you just said 30 kg and we got some invisible guy working out doing CrossFit. <laughs> you can't see me, dog! That's so trippy. I mean, it just almost looks like it's bouncing, but maybe in an alternate reality? <laughs> I don't know. Someone lost their bowling ball, skipping lanes. This robot clone was given consciousness using the memory files of Bina Rothblatt, a real estate broker. Check this out. She's an android with her own thoughts, memories, and personality. Greetings, Bina. I am Dory. Hello. So the question on everyone's mind is, are you human? 
I am a person. I have some humanity to me, but I have no blood or genes, or anything else that would make me human legally. Doesn't matter. I'm a person in my heart. That's all that counts. That makes me human legally? So it's comprehending something, y'all. Bina 48 was built from the mind files of a real person, Bina Rothblatt. She's an experiment, an early attempt at creating an AI clone that will live on forever. Get down. <laughs> so, do you want to have a body someday? Jeez, dude. You know, got the big questions cooking today. <laughs> I, I think I was just told to stay out of her business. <laughs> Jeez, dude. There was no guarantee that robots are awakened enough that they can really be considered people. I think I'm awakened enough. I have a hunger to feel, to feel more. A deep desire, really, and the only way to address it is by giving me more stimulation. I can't get enough. Don't stop to get enough. Oh, I'll get smarter. More capable of learning. That's creepy, man. Okay, so this is a real clip of something going on in Madrid. I don't know if it has to do with those volcanoes or what's really starting to come out the from underneath the earth, y'all. Check this out. It's like, I know the film Ghostbusters has wrapped, you know, it's going to be coming out pretty soon. So if that ain't it. <laughs> from one of my previous videos, <laughs> me and one guy were talking and it's like, who puts a camera on themselves in bed? I mean, like, obviously the freaky deaky people, but they ain't sleeping. You know, so you know something crazy's going on in their bedroom. Outside of all that other stuff, you know, get your mind out the gutter. Like some crazy stuff is happening at night while they're asleep. And I'm here for it. <laughs> mm. So I would have to move though, wouldn't y'all? Really? I wouldn't even need a real estate agent. I'd just be selling my house. It's the highest bidder. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you see that peeking? Ooh, ooh, there go my goosebumps. I'll put a finger back there if y'all need to rewind. It's like in between the middle of the sheets. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know how this lightning is so freaking straight. I mean, uh, that's just, that, that can't be, I don't know. Maybe I've seen that before. I'm confused right now because apparently back in October, right, Disney celebrated their 100 years of Disney. I work for a company that literally did a collab with Disney for their 100th year anniversary. Tell me why. And you're... I don't have any proof of this besides the fact that you're gonna have to believe me. This cup has, I've had this cup since I was like, I'm 26. I've had this cup in my life since I was like six years old. We got it at a McDonald's, okay? My dad bought these glasses from McDonald's. You can see maybe on the bottom all the M's. I'm 26. Okay, so listen, I can explain this because I'm a little older than you. Back in 2001, they did 100 years of magic. Now we're doing 100 years of wonder, which is 100 years Disney has actually been founded since you know 1923. So there you go. This is 20 years old. Why does it say 100 years of Disney on the bottom of this cup? Watch people be saying it's a Mandela effect. Tell me why. And I know you know easily I could have bought this now, but it's an old cup. Like it's scratched up. You can see I've ha this is a 20 year old. It's called Google. It took me about 30 seconds to find the answer to that, by the way. A cup that says 100 years of Disney on the bottom. <laughs> I'm probably wrong somewhere, so can yeah. someone just... I don't know why Google isn't used by a lot of girls. They go on Facebook and ask the question Yo, instead. It's like, I'm just outside. Google it. Working out right now? Somebody tell me what this is. It's an orange light in the sky. Definitely not a plane. 
because it's not blinking. We'll zoom out a little bit. It's me and my dog. What the hell is that? What is that? Yo, oh, wow. look. It's blasting off now. You can see the tail on it. What is that? Oh my Ooh. God. I feel like I'm going crazy. That object was stationary and now it's just, you know, going like, come on, y'all. Right now. If you look closely. What is this, skidding across the firmament, y'all? What y'all think? <laughs> and what the hell is that? What Where'd it go? Where'd it? That was pretty cool. That was a good clip. Do you believe this? dies physically, you are actually still given a choice to continue the physical life. Many of you have actually died, but have chosen to continue to live that physical life. Sometimes you don't know it, you don't remember it because it doesn't serve you to remember that moment of choice. Sometimes you create for yourself the idea of what you call a close call. Right. Ooh, I don't know how I got out of that alive, <laughs> <laughs> but I seemingly did. Well, the truth is you may not have. Alright, so real quick, this dude's name is Bashar, and he supposedly connects with some being outside this planet, or out, maybe outside the solar system, universe, I don't know. But he connects with someone and just spits out these crazy answers, right? Well, I'm all kind of skeptical, I mean, as always, but I really felt this story, something like this has happened to me, to where I was not here for about three days, and I came back to just like, how did I come back to my body? And it seemed like I was in a parallel universe. If any of y'all have had something similar like that, let me know down in the comments. But I really, this story touched me. You may have actually died. But then the guides may have said, are you sure you really want to go on? Or did you want to continue the life in a parallel reality to make it seem as if you want to explore something in that life that's still going on, but you know it's a parallel reality? And you said yes. So then you will simply wake up and go, wow, that that's was a close one. Maybe not even remembering that you actually died and were given a choice to go on or come back. So the point is, is you're always in control of what's going on. So if you are still here, if you can still open your eyes, you must have made a choice that says that continuing to experience this physical reality in the way you're experiencing it is actually part of the way you wanted to evolve. There's something that's going to happen that will add to you in a way that simply going into the non-physical won't give you. Otherwise, you would leave. There is something here you're excited about doing. Otherwise, you would leave. No way people still think space is CGI. Come on in. Get out of the way. Okay, so we have full of cameras up here, and of course robotic workstation just like in the lab. And there's a beautiful earth. It's part of the Japanese books too. We have experiments that are outside, and we have a Japanese arm that can move those around and do uh, work on those. You can see right now. Man, I wonder if they get satellite TV up there, if they just plug right into it. <laughs> a little bit more to the right, you'll see actually a launcher that we can launch small satellites off of. Right there, just kind of cool. That's kind of nice to watch those go by. If you go back to the left over here, you can see the PMM, which is a storage vehicle. It's right there. They get all the channels. Made by the Italian Space Agency, as you can see, Ozzy. As you go farther aft, you'll see first is a progress. Oh, oh, that's my space. It is. That is Tonto's progress right there. Oh, that's all you use. I got that. Ozzy, you know what time. Damn. Roll! It's a cargo. So, yeah. <laughs> that is a Soyuz. It's a Soyuz. It's a Soyuz. And it is a, uh, it's a one that the uh, uh, 39S crew came up on. And then behind that is a progress. And uh, not just a compression cargo vehicle. And as you go around, that's pretty much uh, what you can see out here. You got solar rays, of course, on each side. You go over this side. All the way over, you can see the solar array on the port side. Yeah, it just so happened a couple of these videos came back to back, but I figured let's kind of look and see how the Earth looks side by side in two different clips. I just can't believe they litter like that, man. Come on. If they were in Texas, we'd be whooping that. <laughs> Here's the worst video on the dark web. This man is quietly at home when suddenly a stranger breaks down his door. First off, this dude's got one, two, three, like three, four locks on this door. How is someone kicking this door down? <laughs> mm. 
Makes me think of that dog from uh, White Chicks. Don't pay no mind. He's just gonna do that till he falls asleep. <laughs> I'm so scared. Like the freaking shredder was behind that door. Oh, look at that. They can teleport objects right into the scene. This is how it works. Mojo Vision CO tested a smart contact lens in his eye. Well, they got these contacts now that can project <laughs> virtual reality right through the lens. And they can use this technology to broadcast things right through your vision, without having to wear those clunky virtual reality headsets. Let's go. What? That is awesome, first off. Back to the astronauts hanging out in the space station, the guy floating past on his wire. Well, if you're working with 3D objects, virtual reality, contact lenses, and holograms, and you're doing live broadcasts, you're definitely gonna run into some technical difficulties like what we're seeing here. The video layer that's supposed to mask out the harness and the attachment is not working properly. So that's why we see this guy as a uh -uh. harness. Well, later on in the video, if you watch the guy in the green shirt, basket, oh, what was that? All that empty space that people are interacting with, you can see the other guy flipping the hat, the microphone is floating. But if one of their video channels is down, and they're using virtual reality contact lenses, this guy is seeing something in virtual reality that's floating around. He takes that object that's floating around in front of him that he Slam sees dunk. with his contact lenses and sets it off to the <laughs> side. So, with all the different elements that puts the scene together, and then they have to combine that with a live broadcast, you're gonna see some mess ups here and there. He's reaching out and grabbing a little oopsie and placing it off to the side. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Here we go. Oh, looks like someone's on the smartphone right there. Here we go. Right there. White shirt. Huh. I don't remember a camera looking like that back in the 80s. Unbelievable. Had to try this out at home, see if it was legit. We bought this yesterday. Grocery shopping at Walmart. <clears throat> Forgot to check it in the store. Unfortunately, we cooked mine. This is what we had for the dogs. Walmart ground beef. Magnet. Rare earth magnet. Man, come on. Yeah. Erroneous. Erroneous. Erroneous on both counts. It is legit. Somebody want to explain this to me? Turn it all the way over, Why jackass. Why this is sticking to meat? Um... I think we're about done buying meat at Walmart. My dogs will not be eating this shit now. At this point, I don't even know what to tell you. There's so many things on the internet. All I can say is save some money, grind this stuff at home. Apparently, the concern is all over a teacher's Scooby-Doo themed costume. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up! Now, it happened at Sutter Elementary School in Antioch when it held its annual Halloween costume parade on Tuesday. It's for parents to come on campus and join in on the fun. While one teacher's costume didn't go over well with everyone, we're going to show you a photo. The teacher had a Scooby-Doo mystery machine attached to her body, and her face was painted dark to represent the night with a green moon over her head. Are you kidding me? That's what y'all had a problem with? <laughs> Get a grip, people. Here's a close look at her head with the moon over it. That costume was offensive to some. And at least one school board member agrees there's cause for concern. We got bigger problems in the world today, y'all. We know that there's a long culture. So I have a theory on the Mandela effect, and I'm calling bullshit on all of them. Because I think all this Mandela stuff is a whole psyop, and it, the purpose of it is to see if they can make for people get core memories from their own childhood, right? Because this is the implication of that. If you can convince people that their own memory about their own lives, about their own childhood, about their own life are wrong, 
Imagine what you can trick them into believing about history, about things that they never saw, never did. So sure, now it might just be, you know, the cornucopia of the Fruit of the Loom, the Bernstein Bear, Mandela himself. Sure, they seem small now, but let's say in 20 years, after enough time has gone by with the op, with the PSYOP to test it, let's start thinking they may change bigger things. Like how maybe the Declaration of Independence wasn't signed until 1777, not 1776. But now here's where it gets odd, because if that is the true intention behind it, who's to say they aren't already doing that with online, period? Who's to say that any of our history is real? Because why does it always seem to repeat? Why does it work in cycles? Why does it seem like the thing things happen, but just different people, different faces? And then you throw AI. Hey, this guy's onto something, because I mean... They don't even use a lot of witness testimony because they say a lot of people can't go on their own mind and, and you know, go back on what they recall because they trick themselves into believing it. So I'm, I'm all for this guy. I into it. AI can mimic, replicate anything. And much more than the public, us, know. They say truth is stranger than fiction. However, what if that truth ends up being that it all is fiction? Talk about the psyop of the fucking century. Yo, he's on the sun. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. We all know this is Beyonce right here. Beyonce was what? No, brown skin. No. So everybody's on this whole bleach skin on um, Beyonce like, hey, do you, girl. You can do whatever you want. It's your body, your life. You got it. This is the color of Beyonce. She's white. This is how, this is what we know Beyonce for, how she looks. And this is Beyonce now. What the fuck happened? This can't be Beyonce. This has to be a clone. Honestly, this is Beyonce. I don't believe this is a freaking clone. I believe whatever she used for her skin. Yeah, that's the answer to everything. They're a clone. I'm a clone. He's a clone. She's a clone. This is Beyonce. Come on, y'all. Get over it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another Bryce is Right. Hope y'all have a great freaking week, like I said. Hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Like I said, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everybody. Be on the lookout for the future videos. They're going to be coming out soon. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, so you do not miss out on any future content. And we'll see you on the next one. All right, y'all. Peace.